Same deal, you know the drill. Doing a run is Mortacho right now uh, with the... Mortacio? Mortacho? I've been corrected on it so many times. Whatever his name is, we're going to try for a crazy OP run right here. See if it gives us this ridiculous build we've been looking for and then go from there. Um, so we're going to be going full Rune Tracer, hopefully. Rune Tracer and Bone to just have a ton of projectiles on the screen. I'm a big fan of doing a fun playthrough. I don't care if we're really super powerful by the end, but... If we happen to be super powerful by the end, then that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoops. We could have gotten the Bible there. So I'm going to be going... Here we go. Good Rune Tracer. We're getting the builds I want. Um, hopefully have projectiles just all over the screen. And it's just total spam because so far I have not... I've gotten like within 10 seconds of beating the inlaid library. Embarrassingly, I've not beaten it yet. But we've got enough things to choose between that I don't think we're going to get stuck having to lock in something that we don't want to. If we go for Bone... I can't really decide. I guess I'll go with Rune Tracer because that's kind of the theme here. Rune Tracer, Bone, Unholy Vespers with the Bibles. And then uh, hopefully get some variation of uh, Vandalier. Just because Vandalier is pretty much always OP. And then I don't know what we'll do after that, but we can get a free empty tome, so we might go for a mag- Or we've already got a magic wand, so I'll take that. And we can also get a free stone uh, stone helm too, right? Or what is it? Stone mask? I can't remember all the exact names of everything. Avoid burbs unless, uh, unless, uh, unless I use them? I love using the burbs, though. The burbs are some of my favorite upgrades in the game. They do kind of eat up this one top slot, though. But what I didn't realize is we're going to have to wait till the very end to unlock the tome. So I guess we'll slowly make our way over to the left side now. Although we do get more enemies from the right. Uh, is there anything we need? Okay, let's just keep upgrading our Bible. There we go. All right, nice. Okay, I think that's enough experience to just grab. I don't like heading to the left here. But, eh, we'll wait till we get a little bit stronger again like we did last time. That's fine, that's fine. Now, let's just kind of move the bones over closer to the wall. Because what I'd really like to see is... Ah, oh, the bones do bounce against the wall. Very interesting. Okay, so then that makes the bones even more powerful. Because they can't just drift off into some random direction like they can in the garden. That makes Mortacho even more powerful in this stage because then he has more walls for his bones to ricochet against. Uh, very nice, very nice. So that's the whole mechanic that we're trying to kind of spam right here. And good, okay, then let's just upgrade those bones. I'm fine with that. Hopefully we'll get it to the point where every bounce of the bone or every bounce of the rune tracer is one free kill. Or like just one complete kill. I always find that's where you power spike in this game. Alright, thinking about the rest of our build, I like Axe in general, but I think it's a little bit less powerful since things can't go off into the north and south. Can skeletons fart? Hmm. If he has a, a bone to pick? I don't know. I have, have no idea what to Is there like a subtle joke that underlies with that? They exude it. Yes, they do. They exude it. Of course. Hmm. Let's get more bones, because there's just like such a it's such a great sight to have so many bones. Yes, look at that. The whole screen is just kind of ridiculous now. Okay, now that we're on the mummies, there's fewer enemies around, so I think we're gonna move off to the left. Uh, we'll make our way over to the tome here. We'll pass up on some experience until we've locked in more of our choices. Um, okay, there we go. Let's just see, is there anything else I want? Let's see if there's anything else to lock in. Better chance of getting some of this stuff. And maybe I'll just get it right now. That way I can focus on one item. Not what I wanted, but okay. Very well. Okay, King Bible. So far I haven't been forced to pick anything that I really don't want. So I'm thankful for that much. I really didn't notice though that. The waves of enemies are slightly larger from the right side. Yeah, that's true. An unfortunate fact of life. But this is going to be kind of like a 
Like, I'm kind of, it's kind of going to be a buzzkill what happens when I get up to the tome. So we're not going to pick the tome right now because we're going to get one for free as a 13th slot. It's super good. Okay, that's very nice that we have one of those down there. I can't remember what you call that item. I always think of it as like the, the fiery nacho that gets you to breathe the fire breath on all of your enemies. But I find that the tome is really not that far away from the starting point. Like, the stone mask is so far. Tome is just... it's fine. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Mm. Mm. Is it automatic clicking? Nah, all your projectiles are fired in this game uh, without really having to do anything. Pichon. Mmm. Pichon. We meet again. Now, I did want you. Yes, I want you in my life, Pichon. I like Pichon. I don't care what other people have to say about you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Have I ever leveled that? What is with all these... My God. What is with all these substances you speak of? Jesus Christ. Is this like a new Twitch trend or something? God. Mm. Okay, so the new passive... Uh, not a new passive... Well, is there a new passive item? But what we have to do is get up to the tome now and just not get it. Man, that's gonna be like a real... humdinger. Look at that. Mm. Okay, there we are. Good. Okay, so now we need to leave that for a while. Duplicator would make this build extremely OP. So I wanted to free up uh, some of our bottom slots to partake in these types of things. Mm. Good. Okay. Well, eh, not that great. But it'll at least be useful for boss fights. Now we're firing like a wand machine gun. And now what we can start to do is just focus on the right side because we're going to get slightly larger waves of enemies from there. But we also want them to ricochet back and over. Ah, uh, so many decisions to make here. But we'll level faster than we did on the way over here. I can guarantee that much. Bone. Good. But we want to stay near the tome. We don't want to go too far from the tome. Never want to go too far from the tome. Hmm. Uh, man. Rip. Yeah, Facebook stock dropped, uh, what was it? 25%. Did you hear that Mark Zuckerberg lost $30 billion in one day? So this is Mark Zuckerberg's skeleton now? That he's forced to a life of dodging various fantasy creatures? Oh my god. Again, we have to wait for... We, what we want to do is lock in as many other choices as possible at this point. Okay, this is a good pickup here. Uh, well, not that, but there we go. Because if we can lock in our other choices, then that means that we can grab the tome and go back and get the stone mask. So the faster that we make a decision, the better. Uh, what do I want? Well, we won't be able to upgrade this until the very end, so I'll take the projectiles. Because the tome is going to be have to the, it's going to have to be the last thing that we take. It's basically like a cheat item. There we go. My God, that took a long time. We did leave a red orb back there somewhere. S to Santa Water, or n probably not the Santa Water, because we're waiting for Ebony Wings at this point. And then beyond that, we're just going to get a bunch of items that... We'll get, like, a lot of defensive items at the bottom. Do I get back an active spot when I evolve the birds? Yeah, you do. So we're going to face a lot of adversity right here. It's going to be very difficult, and then it's going to get easier. Um... The one thing I neglected was the fact that you actually need to be actively moving right in order to encounter a lot of enemies. But I don't know, I mean, like, if we can get an early Bible, that'd be good. We can lock in a few choices. I'm, I'm, maybe the thing that's wrong with me is I'm going for the best thing in this run. Maybe I won't be able to get the best thing, but... I'll die trying, then. I'll die trying. Hmm... I'll take Pichon because there's more of a chance that I get to Pichon before I get to that. Uh, before I get to the automatic magic wand. I can't remember what you call it. The evolved wand. Yeah, the green mobs do look quite disgusting. They kind of remind me of, uh, what is it? 
Ah, what was that game? The game where there were a billion guns, and it was a roguelike, and it looked a lot like this. It was kind of working off of that Isaac formula. Ah, yes, they look... Well, they do kind of look like broccoli. That's fair. Like broccoli, but not just any broccoli. Enter the gungeon, thank you. Broccoli that had something wrong with it, you know what I mean? Okay, this... Now we are starting to see the power of these, uh... Of these ricocheting projectiles. Ah, oh, we don't have a spellbinder. Thank God we get to lock that in. See, like, look, if I just stand still, there's so many bones on screen, and they're always coming back right into the next wave of enemies on the left side. Um, I'll try to lock in something or get an upgrade. Eh, all right. We're just going to be weak for a while, probably till about 15 minutes. But then after that, hold on to your head, because this mode, although it doesn't send a lot of bosses, it sends out these massive hordes of enemies that are just impossible to deal with. Go for Bible again. Bible is good. I'm sorry that I passed. I slept on Bible until today. Mm. Yeah, like drippy broccoli. Drippy broccoli that smells smelly. You know what I mean? Like broccoli that's been in the fridge too long. One broccoli to find them. One broccoli to bring them all and in the darkness. Uh, damn it, I didn't want any of these power-ups. Okay, so we gotta make a we gotta make a choice. Um, I'd rather pick armor, because yeah, I, th I think we gotta do armor because we get the stone mask later on. The cross is uh, we'll we'll sleep on uh, what is what should we call it? The uh, peachone and ebony wings if we do that. Uh, a lot of the devils that I'm playing are kind of difficult to make though. I guess that's the one major flaw with them. Like you can. You can fail to make these builds. A lot of it's because of the Peachone and Ebony Wings. Uh, Spellbinder. Effects last 10% longer. I don't really want Peachone yet. I figure let's do Rune Tracer. Probably going to make me the strongest. All right, now this is kind of having the intended effect. Mm, armor again. And I'm going to slowly make my way right but then back left because the tome is pretty close by. Oh god, okay, now back left. Now back left. Uh, where are my Bibles? There are my Bibles. Where are my Bibles? Have I tried to run where I only picked the top upgrade at each level up? Makes them interesting. Huh, I hadn't really thought of that. Armor, yeah, definitely armor. Magic wand. Okay, we are starting to run out of slots. I hope that we get an ebony wing soon. Only because that just eats up so many choices and it gives you a lot of freedom when you have Vandalier. Not good, not good. And we're running out of time. Come on, ebony wings. Uh, Pichon could do crown, honestly, because we're going to need some lower ones. If we get the ebony wings... We might have to pick something at the very end. I really should have seen what these last upgrades were going to do ahead of time. Crown is a safe option. We could do it. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more experience. I'm trying to think of other stuff. A tract orb would be kind of similar. Hmm. Different color explosions kind of... I know I'll get perfect bird faster. I'll still have it as a choice. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll be safe. Because I knew that I would get more options with this build. So let's just do it. Magic wand. And good. Okay, so maybe that gave me a little bit more freedom now to work with. Uh, let's see other stuff though. Is there going to be any other item? The tome I'll get for free. The Bible I have. Okay, good that I took it there. Good that I took it there. I'm starting to remember now which slot each one goes into, whether it's the top or the bottom. It took me long enough, though. There's a lot of memorizing that happens in this game. Maybe I could have slept, uh, hit it on that. Come on. Now, I am kind of pushing to the right a little bit more because we are getting more enemies on the right side. 
But always keeping that tome in mind, because once we have our full build, then we'll go grab that tome and add that in. What we need is a good Bible. But the Bibles are doing pretty well. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. The, bar, the Bibles are doing great. And if we kind of make our way like this, then we get even better Bible velocity into our enemies. Oh, everyone loves some good Bible velocity. Yes. Good. All right, now we're getting a lot of experience. Not struggling with these. Mm, Candle Labrador is kind of pointless here. It would actually be a bad thing with the Bibles, so we don't want to do that. Right, moving our way back left. Look, it's just less dense in general. Okay, but I needed that. That was good. Ooh, running low now. We'll keep the option for Spellbinder. Not liking this. Okay, let's just get levels faster because we are going to need to do more stuff. Are we at full level of bone and rune tracer? Not rune tracer, but we are at full bone now. So this is what full bone looks like. What does the tome do? The tome reduces all of our cooldowns, and it's also going to make our wand, assuming that we're able to evolve it into basically like a giant machine gun. But uh, we'll see if we get there. We're just trying to hit certain upgrades. Mm, all right, I'll take Pichon. Keep moving back to the right. Uh, Bracer would be good. Well, actually, Bracer might be a decent other power-up. I wouldn't do Knife, which is the reason why I've been not doing it. Actually, Bracer might be a decent upgrade. Huh. Yeah, maybe I could have taken that. Well, let's see what we get here. Maybe we'll get a decent Bible. Nope. All right. We're almost at full Rune Tracer. Yeah, actually, Rune, tr Rune Tracer and Bracer would be pretty good together. Okay, yeah, I've been trying to think of what would fill out that other slot. We could also do spinach, though, so we have a couple of choices. Um, or even something that raised the duration of the effects, if that exists. Just something... We have so many projectiles on screen, and if we can make them go either faster, make them stronger, or make them last longer, those are the three things that we're looking for. So, yeah, fair, fair. Oh, we had a bracer before. I've been getting so many upgrades. The thing is that there's like a, I think a five second delay on the stream. I had so many upgrades there in a second that it was just crazy. Uh, no, okay. I'm gonna have to settle for wings instead. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think Candle Labrador, because we obviously aren't gonna take the empty tome. Um, Hollow Heart is not good. I should have taken the bracer before, but. Maybe that'll make some of my projectiles slightly larger. Unfortunately, it's also going to make my Bibles go farther out from me. But on second thought, I don't really think that was such a bad thing, having the Bibles farther away from me. Uh, let's see if we can save this chest, though, because I'd like to get another Bible and then upgrade the Bible with that. Yeah, everything hits a bigger area, so it's okay. It wasn't a total waste. Got a rune tracer. I'm going to keep on waiting on this chest then. Yeah, the bracer is good because it makes your Bibles go faster. So generally speaking, it means that they strike more things. But I don't know if that really affects anything with the uh, Unholy Vespers. So many, so many considerations here. Oh yeah, and we will actually get a, another option. That's true too. We could get the scythe after the bird is done. Huh, hadn't thought of that. Scythe isn't bad. It's not my favorite weapon choice, but it's certainly not bad either. Okay, that was good time. Oops, I did two things in one. Alright, I'm going to save both of those chests, because I don't like either of these things. Uh, I really would like to take one of those chests now, too. That's too bad. But look at all of the projectiles on screen. I mean, come on. That's awesome. This has been totally worth it. Okay, now I have the Bible. Okay, so now I will take one of those. Ah, uh, please be... Yes! Good. Fantastic. Alright, let's see. Is it worth it to take the other chest right now? I'll take it because I think it's going to be a little while. Um... Yeah, I'll take it because I think it's going to be a little while before we get to do anything. 
We'll take the Candle Labrador. There'll be other bosses. Well, it's also bad if you wait too long, though, because you got to make yourself stronger. All right, uh... We're going to wait on Axe, because we still haven't gotten Ebony Wings. We'll take Spellbinder. Okay, now we really could use an Ebony Wings. I hope I didn't miss any of these things. I don't want to go so painstakingly slow, but... Sometimes the streamer blindness does affect me. Acquired Bible Sea Scrolls Edition. The armor is a bit of a waste, but... Uh, can't win them all. And I'd say that this is pretty good, too. A decent chance that we'll win. Even for a build that I would just consider to be for fun. Yeah, Ebony Wings we could combine with Peachone, and then we just get a lot of Ebony Wings, and we did not get Ebony Wings again. And again, we did not get Ebony Wings. Uh, ooh, that's just, this is getting bad. It's, it's horrible if you don't get Ebony Wings. Like, if you get one Peachone or Ebony Wings, but not the other... Yep, we are in some trouble now. Oh, no. Come on, are you just not going to give me an Ebony Wings game? Uh, definitely waiting on this chest. Definitely waiting on it. And I'm gonna save that, um... Oh, actually, look, we got a... Like a, a relic, or I don't know what you call it. A cross necklace over there. See it? There it is. Up at the top. Oh, this is getting kind of iffy now. Yeah, rosary. Did I pass by a spinach? Double spinach. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, you know, this is kind of crazy. All right. Everyone has their own opinions. I'm not going to... I'm just going to play it my own way. I'm not fighting. This is interesting. Look what's on screen right now. That's bananas. Yes. Ah, justice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, I feel so good having gotten that. Okay. I feel so justified now. Okay, the question is, what is the other thing that we're going for? Um, we're definitely going to be going for an axe after we upgrade that, but I think we just want a general damage item. We could get a bracer, we could get a shield, we could get anything, any kind of defensive item or any kind of offensive item, just something that kind of buffs us in general. Uh, what am I want to do now? I want to lock in my full combo as soon as I can so that I can get away from this empty tome. So let's get another Ebony Wings. Because um, we got to get a chance of getting an axe. It's still possible that we won't get an axe, which would be fine, but I do want one. Um, let me think. I'm trying to lock in more slots. Am I going to be better? Yeah, we just kind of need a general damage item, and we need to upgrade our ebony wings, so let's take these chests. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. And we got to keep Candle Labrador from getting fully upgraded. Not really much choice here, but I wouldn't pick Stone Mask over this. Because we can just get it later on. <laughs> this is good. Alright, nice. This is, yeah, oh baby, a triple. This is getting pretty OP. This character is much stronger than I thought he would be. Uh, whoops, I just walked into some damage there, so I'll take one of those meats. Good. Um, Bracer would be good. Uh, so, I think I'm going to take it. I mean, we could do spinach. I personally like bracer better here because of all the projectiles. Yeah, look at how much faster everything's going. So, we'll do bracer. Good that we got another chance at it. Finish off the ebony wings. Hopefully get an axe. And then, we could get knives as well. Knives wouldn't be awful, but I don't want to get them. We would be better off with the, uh, with the axe. But that all depends on getting Ebony Wings first. Uh, not... Uh, we can get the Tome, but my fear about getting the Tome is this. I want to get Vandalier first, because I don't know if they're going to combine in a weird way. Can you do that? Hang on a second, let me just check that. Can you take the Tome, and even if... Because I'm going to go up from 12 upgrades to 13 upgrades... And then it'll reduce again when I combine the Ebony Wings into a Vandalier. Oh, is it going to be in the bottom slot? Okay, yeah, then we're fine with the Tome. Okay, so then we can get the Tome. Fantastic! Okay, great. 
Ah, amazing. Amazing. Okay, this is going to be a super powerful character then. Uh, I want to be near that thing in case if I run into an emergency, but let's do this. Ebony wings. Now we should be able to get the full build of Vandalier in a moment. I'm just going to leave that over here there. In case if I panic and I have to run back this way, it's fine. But I'm going to see if I can go get the stone mask right now. I'm going to get kind of greedy. But there is also a stone mask I could totally just get for free on this phase. Uh, empty tome or bracer doesn't really make a difference. Let's get one or the other. Maybe empty tome. Oh, who cares? <laughs> We're doing so well. Jesus. Uh, go left for a second tome. Well, we'll probably get another. We'll get more tomes just through our natural upgrades. I want to see if I can get a uh, another free item or like another free slot, which we can get if we do the. Uh... Man, look at this. This might even be better than Vandalier. There's just so much on the goddamn screen. We should get a Vandalier. Oh, whoops! I forgot about that. Yep, we'll get the magic wand. So now we're just a machine gun, then we should get a magic wand shortly. Did we leave any chests anywhere? This is, cr this is as strong as I've ever been. Man, that is nice. Oh, look, it's that thing from earlier. I don't even think I need it, though, and we're only at 1846. This might be the most... As soon as I get Vandalier, this is probably going to be the strongest build. I mean, I can't think. How would you make this stronger? Uh, what do I need? I guess uh, Empty Tome is a better pick because we want to give ourselves more options. We want to stall for Axe if we can get it. Not that it'll really make that much of a difference at this point, but... I don't know. I'm kind of a completionist. Maybe I'd be better off with Spinach. You think I'd... Well, we couldn't get Spinach, actually, because it's a bottom slot. Mask is optional. I know, but the mask is like... I want to do it. I want to do it. Replacing armor and... Yeah, the armor was an unlucky pick. We didn't want to get the armor, but we did, unfortunately. Sometimes you gotta take a necessary evil. It's also... I mean, you know, I don't mind having one or two damage-preventing items. There we go. Empty tome. monkeys after this. Yes, I will also, I will play the monkeys after this run if it, if it pleases you. Come on, show me a boss and show me a vandalier. I think the other fact of this game mode or this area is just the fact that you don't see as many bosses. Okay, here we go. It's like, uh, uh who is it? The guy from Dragon Ball Z? Vegeta? Is it Vegeta? Who is it? Is it Vegeta? Was there another boss on the left that I missed? Piccolo? I don't think it was Piccolo, no, the, uh, the bad guy. Maybe, yes, Frieza. Frieza. I forget how you say it. Hmm. Okay, Axe, we lock it in, and we're good. Alright, this is ex almost exactly the build I would have wanted. I think the one thing I would have changed would have been Spinach instead of uh, Armor, but we just kind of got stuck with one bad pick. That's all good, though. I, this is way more powerful than I thought it would be. Usually it's awful when you get to this point in the game. Like, you can't possibly survive. Only regret is we might not have as much time for just scoring extra coins, but I, I think that this is still worth it. Come on, give me 10% extra coins. It seems to me as if the tome is farther over to the... Or that the uh, stone mask is farther over to the right than the tome is to the left. Okay, there it is. But I also did have to retrace my footsteps. Okay, so this is as strong as we've ever been. Did, did I miss a red gem? Oh, I'll probably get a, a magnet in a minute. We might just be better off standing here. Uh, okay, I'll get the red gem, and then I think I'm going to keep on walking to the right. Maybe it's possible that I get another one? Uh, it doesn't make a, ma a difference what we pick at this point, so I'm just going to keep on picking. I, I I think we won this one. Just going to do that. That. Oh my. 
Jesus Christ. Look at that. How did I take damage? I think I still, like... I still can walk fast enough that I can sometimes walk into it. But it's pretty rare. I also would... I would love to have an attract orb right here because I keep needing to do this. But it's preventing me from doing anything stupid. Do the burbs and the extra projectiles synergize? The burbs do release more projectiles when there are more of... I'm mean, pretty sure, right? Because don't the burbs fire out like a certain number of projectiles? And then if you get the upgrades for the projectile count, like the duplicator, then that just does more, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah. I think so. The other thing about this uh, game mode, though, is that I find that more enemies drop blue... Okay, there we go. Some bosses. I might want to save one of these chests. Because what are we at now? 22 minutes? What are the odds of get? Yeah, let's just get the axe, and then we'll, get we'll open up that chest. Because... The truth is that I should have taken those app axe upgrades before and I was being kind of stupid. Keep that nearby there. But we're, I'm doing far better than I was the last time I played this game mode. The witches were dense the last time I did this. My god, I just need to take a second. It's so loud. So upgrade's always the same for the item level, or you have uh, different upgrade options for the same level. I'm pretty sure that it's always the same per le I'm not sure if I understand the question. But I, I think, well, like, it's not like each one just gives you straight damage. Sometimes it reduces cooldowns, sometimes it upgrades damage. There's all kinds of things that it can do. It's kind of like a lot of different effects all at once that could happen. Can we even count how many projectiles are on screen? Nope, can't do that. This is the best run. This is the best run. What else to say? I'll try to get the axe so that I can get the two more and then I can get the evolved version of it. Though the end of this game mode, once you hit, like this is only 23 minutes. Once we hit 25 and 28, there is one last final wave that I consider to be very much impossible to beat. Like, I died a lot. Yeah, let me lower the sound a bit. It is kind of getting loud. There we go. At this point in the game, it does become kind of deafening. I tried lowering it more. But I don't want you all to die after this. I just noticed that when I did a recording of it, it's like, ah, it would be nice to just compress that in the background. Because <laughs> it's quite crazy. I know, I'm going to leave that chest there for another... Oh, now I can do the chest. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we got another chest. Okay, we got the scythe. And now we just march into full build. Good bracers. And we have the upgraded version of everything, right? Yep. Okay, let's see if we can just walk at full speed. I think the only other thing that we could do now is... Well, we could walk over to the other stone mask, but we'll get more stone masks just as we level up naturally anyway. And I mean, we'll pretty much do just as well if we get gems here, so let's... We can pretty much just stand in place. Super cool. Ah, uh, here's what it looks like when I stand in place now. There's just something on every part of the screen. <laughs> yeah, there's no more. Well, I have two extra slots as well. Alright, now let's go collect all the gems that I had them drop. I'm still going to upgrade damage and then I'll do the coins, but... I don't know, I don't trust it because I've still never beaten this. That all being said, though, I don't feel like this one is that easy. Like, there's still so many enemies on screen that... Think about what this would look like if I didn't have all of these upgrades. Okay, we've got what appears to be another boss. What appears to be another angry man over there. Angry, pink-stroked wi wizard man. Good. Whew. 
Yeah, the 25-minute vampire was actually not that bad. As long as I didn't walk directly into him, I'd say that's... That's the one mistake you wouldn't want to make, is... I don't really have anything within my... Like, Bible... Uh, waterfall? To defend me. If somebody gets in there, I'm, I could be dead. Let's up the base area, let's get to full build, and then we'll up the coins. There we go, now we are at full damage. This is as strong as we can possibly be now. Jesus Christ. Look, the axes are just, or sickles are just spawning super fast. That's crazy. This is probably one of the most satisfying gameplay experiences. And how simple, too. There we go. Now our coins are going up, and I'm just going to face plant into somebody and die. Watch. Okay, now we've got the uh, what appear to be the Medusas. And the Medusa boss, who's going to go down in five, four, three. There we go. <laughs> just dropped a red gem. That's it. <laughs> Come on. Give me another chest. Give me another chest. All right, now we are getting bags of coins at 26 minutes. Level 87, I don't know, what uh, What have you guys seen people get up to the level of on this? I'm curious if I just played it wrong. I mean, I'm still not even at full upgrades yet. I don't have any of the experience levels, so. 96? Yeah, that seems about right. And I imagine that if I had the extra experience and the extra greed, I'd probably, probably get a little bit further. But I, this is about as good as a run can get, I think. I'm well over 100, yeah. Did you have the experience, though? Mm. Man, look, they aren't even on the level anymore. Holy bitrate, Batman, my garlic is so big. Ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation, ambi trepidation. Even TTS sounds like it's kind of out of breath with that many emoji. <laughs> Probably my favorite emoji of the bunch is Ambi Trepidation. Ah. Oh, GX Sentinel, I thank you for the eight months, my friend. Yeah, let me stand still so that the bitrate has a chance to catch up. God. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Double rainbow all the way. That's just a lot of spam. That's a lot of good spam right now. Gold, gold, gold. I'm like Mr. Krabs up here. Mr. You know, if they, Mr. Krabs made like a cameo appearance in this game, I would not object to that. Yeah, Vandalier is, well, no doubt about it. It's got to be the best one. I'm curious what all the DPSs will be at the end. We'll look at that. I'm almost positive it's going to be the Vandalier, but it's also a matter of how much reach there is. The fact of the matter is that it... It can, like, drizzle damage down onto enemies from above. Whereas the projectiles get limited due to the fact that... Ooh, I'm getting a lot of red here. Good. The projectiles are limited in that they bounce off of stuff, or they have to go through it, and, you know, they just can't do the same, the same deal. There it is. Okay, I am going to turn back up the noise to give you a headache because I, I, I think it's just, it's worth it for the spam, not that much. I'll turn the music up a little bit more because it's a banger of a soundtrack. But just only because I want you to all to witness the fact that the game is not lagging and that it never has lagged, which is kind of crazy. Can we turn damage numbers off? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, what happens if we do that? Oh, that is actually far less to... Ah, I may need to do that in the future. Although I like it. Yeah. Probably more visually informative as to what's actually going on. Because if I do this... Uh, what does this do, too? Oh, interesting. So that makes it go fat. Okay, so then that's how that works. Yeah, because if you do all of that, then it... Can I do visible joystick, too? Hmm. I don't actually see what that did. I'm gonna turn that off. I'll leave them all on. I enjoy the spam. For one moment. Hmm. 
Level 103. Okay, okay. Getting somewhere, but I gotta be careful because there's a lot of, like, suicide bombers at this point. This is the this part of this challenge that's so ridiculously hard. Because I've made it up till this exact point, and then it just becomes practically impossible. Like, how? How is anyone supposed to survive against this? Okay, now I will turn off the damage numbers, because I can't see if I'm walking into an enemy. Jesus. My god. Okay, now they are getting closer to me. This is a uh, cause for worry, worry. Yeah, I know, my, my brain has exploded. 20, okay, two, one, and zero. One more bag of gold. Thank you. Phew, Jesus. That was the best run ever. Actually, we didn't earn as much as we had in previous runs, but wow, I am surprised at this information. The Rune Tracer did more damage than Vandalier. Wowzers. That's kind of crazy. So, I mean, Ebony Wings and Pichona are going to be in their own kind of category. Magic Wand, as much as expected, didn't really do that much. The King Bible had its time that it was useful for me, so I, I see why that was helpful, but yeah.